First up at four, a community in mourning comes together to lay to rest one of the victims of a gruesome double homicide. The funeral for retired priest Father Otis Young was held earlier today. And it was the first of two services planned at St. Peter Catholic Church in Covington, where both victims, the father and Ruth Pratt's, faithfully served. WDSU's Morgan Lentes was at the funeral this morning and is live with how people are saying their goodbyes. Morgan. Hey, Sola, well, listen, so many people came out to the church for those funeral services. Many of them had to sit in chairs that were set up outside the church. Take a look at this video. This is what we saw from our uh, vantage point as that noon funeral got underway. Dozens of priests marched inside the church to mourn their brother, Father Otis Young. And he is being remembered today not as a murder victim, but a man full of joy who supported others in times of both happiness and sorrow. Now, we spoke with one longtime friend who described the send off for Father Otis as he was called when he retired earlier this year. We celebrated his retirement from the parish with a big celebration in Mass last June. And um, even to that point, Ruth Pratt, who was with him in death, had been with him all through ministry, was the one who gave um, a beautiful reflection of his life and his priesthood at that Mass. And so we did learn some new information today about Father Otis Young. We were told that he uh, actually decided to retire from being a priest because of medical reasons. He suffered a stroke during the pandemic. We also learned today that he was someone uh, who, before joining the church, was actually an accountant. Reporting live in Covington, I'm Morgan Lentis, WDSU News.